Fire in the hole, let's make some stir fry. Stay tuned. All right, I got my Weber wok installed on the grill. And the way to check you, I got a little bit of saying, sir, the way to check is you put your bamboo skewer in there, you see it bubbling up like that, you know it's ready to rock and roll. And this is the amazing Sang stir fry oil that I use for everything. Got some of that in there. I've got some beef ribeye steak that I sliced up, marinated in garlic, Sang stir fry oil, a little bit of uh, soy sauce. Can we get that in there? Stir fry that around a little bit. I gotta talk loud because of the noise. We just want to get a little cook on that. We don't want to try and cook it all the way through because we're going to put it back in with the vegetables in a little while. And now uh, why am I talking so much? I don't know. So anyway, we just want to get a little cook on that beef, a little stir fry here and there, like so. There you go, look at that. Looking good already. Yes, sir. Nothing like beef and broccoli and that's what we're going to be throwing in there in a minute. So let me get my beef cooked up and I'll remove that to a bowl and then we'll throw all the veggies in. So stay tuned. Okay, I got the uh, beef out of the wok and I got it dipped out of the, uh, dipped out that beef juice. So now we're going to go in some more, some more of that wonderful Sang stir fry oil. It's got that beautiful garlic flavor that you just can't be beat. Get some of that in there. And then we're going to go in our veggies. First thing, we're going to put in some garlic, which is kind of redundant once you got that sangs in there, boy, you don't hardly need it. But there you go with some garlic. Then we got some onion. Stir fry up that onion. Then we got some carrots for color and texture and we got some red and yellow bell pepper it's looking pretty uh pretty wonderful right there isn't it got that garlic got the garlic flavor from that sang stir fry oil get that stir fried up a bit don't take long you can hear it sizzling don't take long to cook them veggies and we got some more veggies to go in there we got some Water chestnuts, which I happen to like a lot. Water chestnuts. And of course, can't forget the shrooms. I love me some shrooms. No doubt about that. Cook up some shrooms. Oh yeah. Now you're talking. Stir fry that up, baby. Don't take long. This goes fast once it starts cooking. You'll see. Ah, oh, yeah. How's that look? Not too shabby, eh? Okay, we got just got a couple more things to put in there. As soon as that cooks down a little bit, let me uh, let me get get with the miracle of time on this one and go forward a little bit. Stay tuned. All right, a little bit of time has passed, and our veggies have cooked down quite a bit. They're still not, you know, totally cooked, but that's good because we've got some more cooking to do. What we're going to go in with now is the, uh, the star of the show, which is the broccoli. And we got some bean sprouts, mung bean sprouts. One of my favorite things to put in my Chinese food, my oriental style food. Mung bean sprouts. They're beautiful. And we got that broccoli in there. That's what this dish was named after. So we're going to have to put a little bit more oil in there to get that frying. If you want to cook that up, put a little bit more. You know what they say, hot wok, cold oil, food don't stick. Who says that? That was old Yan Can Cook. Whatever happened to him? I don't know. Anyway, let's get this stirred up. Like that. That broccoli cooked up a little bit in there. It's kind of a combination of frying and steaming the meat and the uh, veggies. Get them cooked up in there. Broccoli and beef. Goes together like peanut butter and jelly. Okay, get that cooked up. 
Okay. Okay. I'm not going to bore you with that. I'll bring you right back. Stay tuned. Okay, our veggies have cooked down quite a bit. What we're going to do now is return the beef to the wok that we cooked earlier. And we're going to add a sauce to that. Now normally, I would make my own sauce. But for today, I've decided to try this uh, same grilling sauce in here. Let's see how that works out. Ooh, what's that? Some of that in there. Okay. Put the rest of that meat in there. There we go. Just gonna cook that up a little bit. Not much. That's this dish is almost finished. That's how fast it goes. We have broccoli in there. Yeah, I'm gonna take some of that sweet ginger sesame grill sauce that I got from Sang's. I'm going to try uh, see how this works in there. Put a bit of, bit of that in there. It looks good. It smells good. Oh man. You don't need that much. A little bit of that. Stir that up a bit. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Oh yeah, it smells great. If only you could smell this. Oh boy. That's awesome. Look at the color of that sauce on there. Can you see that? That is awesome. Look at that. That is awesome sauce, man. Yeah, we're pretty much done here. All I gotta do is uh, get some rice to serve this over. And uh, gotta get a beer that I can drink. So uh, stay tuned. All right, there's the Frosty Root Boy mug, and here's today's beer. This is Lagunitas Lucky 13 uh, Mondo Large Red Ale from the Lagunitas Brewing Company in Petaluma, California. I know somebody who lives in Petaluma, California. Uh, Big Jim, the toaster oven man. He could go right to Lagunitas Brewing Company anytime he wants. Let's pour out this red ale, see how it looks. It looks beautiful. A beautiful red ale. I love a red ale. Oh boy. You know who else loves red ale? Dan loves red ales. He likes that Killian's red. Look how red that is. Got a lot of head though. I gotta tell you, when I, when I get a nice IPA, it don't have all that head. But this Lucky 13 from uh, Lagunitas has got a lot of head. Yeah, see, I gotta wait for that to settle out now. It takes forever. I'm gonna pour some more in there and what the hell. Let's take a sniff of that. I'm sure it smells excellent and tastes excellent. It's a beautiful red ale. Ah, yeah, it smells great. Lagunitas is one of my favorite breweries. I wish I lived in Petaluma, California. I'd be there every day. Anyway, let's quaff the froth. Roll, look at all that froth. Oh man, always a great beer from uh, Lagunitas. It says, life is uncertain, don't sip. No problem, baby. What's the ABV on this? I don't know. You know, it's like they high, oh, here it is. 8.8, .8. that ain't too bad. Get the rest of that in there. It's a beautiful red ale with a beautiful brown head. Lagunitas Lucky 13. 13 is my lucky number. All right, that's good beer. Let's uh, plate up some of that stir fry and take a taste. Stay tuned. So I got some rice in my bowl. And I'm gonna take some of that stir fry, that beef and broccoli stir fry, and put it on top of there. See if we can get that looking pretty for the camera. Some more beef. Ah, oh, yeah. Don't that look good? How's that look? Let's put a little bit of uh, spring onion on top of that for garnish. Yeah, that's not too bad, not too shabby. That's a pretty nice bowl of food right there, let me tell you. Let me get it centered up and I'll take a picture and we'll take a taste. All right, it's time for the taste test. Get a little bit of that beef. 
right there. Don't that look good? Let's take a taste. Oh man, that's great. That uh, that stir fry. That it's not really stir fry. It's uh, it's a grilling sauce. But I use it as a stir fry sauce, and it turned out perfect. It's delicious. I'm talking with my mouth full. Let me take a drink. Ah, that's good beer too. It's a little foamy. Not too shabby, babies. <clears throat> Looking pretty good. That's my beef and broccoli stir fry on the Weber kettle with the Sang's sweet ginger sesame grilling sauce. And if you want to win some of that sauce, all you got to do is give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and be a subscriber, and I'll pick a lucky winner uh, to win a bottle of sauce and a bottle of stir fry oil. Meanwhile, Stay tuned to the end of the video to see who won from last week. And like I always say, if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go over and see my buddy Chef John Paulette. You know he's cooking up something special. And he's, a, he's an actual chef, so he's not a backyard cook like me. He does it for a living. So go over and see Chef John. Subscribe to me. Come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but by golly, I bet you we drink a beer. Bye.